Howdy everyone! Hey Zoe! Good morning! I realized last minute that I didn't change the title from the last thing I did. I can change it. What are you painting? Daisy Duck Dot Painting. Alright, so we'll cover the materials real quick first. I've got an 8x10 acrylic canvas, and I have already used my watercolor pencil to kind of sketch in my design. Yes! Yes! I brought it in. I brought it in. We talked about it this morning, and I was like, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do Daisy Duck. No worries. No worries. Yay! Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in. Welcome in. So the paint that we're going to be using is we're going to be brilliant purple for that lovely light purple that's in her shoulder and we're going to use it in the background too welcome in yes yes it's a duck it's a duck we're doing ducks i thought of you this is just for you we're also going to be using dioxazine purple mostly into the background yes yes all the duck kinds we're also going to be using light blue this part is more for her eyelashes. It's kind of um, her eyeshadow color. And for her bill, we'll be using cadmium yellow deep hue and cadmium yellow orange hue. I don't have any pink, so I'll be mixing cadmium red hue with white. And obviously we're gonna have white and black as our standards. So the brushes we'll probably be using the most are a 5 8 angle, a 4 square, a 2 round, a 0 detail, and my favorite little dotting tool. I highly recommend when you're sketching out designs for acrylic painting to use watercolor pencil. The great thing with watercolor pencil is that if you use a little bit of water, you can erase your lines and redraw your area without impacting your paint the way that a graphite pencil would or a marker or anything else. There's just less bleeding involved with your color. So without further ado, we're going to start blocking in our colors. Yes, yes, I had a much better day. I had a much better day than this morning. It, it definitely grew better all of the sunshine and how is your day telly did you have a good day today or rather a good evening before going get, did you get some good sleep all right i'm going to start at the bottom and i'm just going to lightly block in my color because i'm not going to do a traditional painting for this this is one of my dot style paintings. I don't know if you've had the chance to scamper over to YouTube and check out any of my previous painting streams. But last year I had done a Disney villains series. Oh, I'm sorry, you're still not feeling good. I hope you get a lot of good rest, lots of water, hydration. Definitely want you feeling your best quacky self. Um, for my Disney villains, I had done Captain Hook, I had done um, Clayton from Tarzan, I had done uh, Gaston, Hades, Oogie Boogie, I don't remember the rest, oh, the Magic Mirror, that's the one I was missing. I don't remember who, I, who Purple was, I know I did a Purple male villain too, but I just can't remember who it was right now. It wasn't Governor Radcliffe. I didn't get make it to him. I'll have to circle back and try to remember later. But I have like a special fondness for this dot painting style. So you start with basically doing your very bare minimum color blocking. And then you move in and you start adding the details with different colors and different shades of dots. Yes, yes. If you haven't already done so, check out my bestie telly she's the sweetest i love waking up to her every morning mm -hmm. 
happy, happy, happy. Yes, I love my dot painting. All right, I seem to have done an oopsie and I didn't grab my water cup, so I'll be right back, guys. I was just too excited. I was just too excited. I couldn't wait. Blush, 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 blush. You're so sweet. Gotta share all of the happy loves and happy vibes. All right. And the, the bulk of her face here is white. So I'm going to be very intentional to not touch that area. But I am going to do the majority of her bill and this cadmium yellow deep hue. And a lot of my interior lines that I pre-drew are going to get lost and that's okay. They were just there to help me visualize my placeholder. No, he did not. He did not. He did not break into your house and threaten your cats. He did not do that. There's no way he would do that, no, right? I didn't threaten cats. Right? I just threatened self for themselves. Oh, okay. Threaten just yourself. You, he knows better than to threaten animals. I will throw him over if he tried. Animals are the bestest. Well, tell me about your cats. I can reassure their safety. I love cats. Cats are all the happiest things. I love the way they purr. They're so cute. Yes, threat specificity is very important. You can threaten your personhood as long as I don't hear about it, but he can absolutely never threaten animals. Never. Strong, hard pass from me. Did everybody have a good day today? Oh, oh, what kind of tabby? Orange, gray. I had a really adorable um, ginger tabby when I was um, spending all of my summers in Michigan. And I spent the entire summer just taking pictures of this orange tabby. And she had kittens, and I named them Dandy and Sandy because I was all of 10 years old and thought that was totally awesome. Gray. Oh, adorable. Adorable. Ooh, have a good day at work. All the happy vibes. Prepare for the day. Hope everything goes well. Safe driving or, commu or uh, commuting in general if you or in an area where public transit is more of a thing. That's a fun little uh, a fun little swip side. I wake up to you guys and you guys wake up to me. Okay, so I'm going to leave that alone for now and rinse off my brush. And I'm going to pop in some cadmium red hue for the inside of the mouth. And oddly enough, because red is my least favorite color, I almost never have more than the smallest tube. It's such a negative color to me. Like there's negative connotations attached to the color red. Makes me think of teachers grading papers and marking X's on things and it makes my soul sad.
I'm assuming that most folks watched all of the um, upcoming game releases this past weekend. What is everybody excited for? I had a small little ongoing list. I actually am looking forward to a lot of things from the Wholesome Direct showcase. Lots of cute little gardening games. Right, and I'm going to leave that spot blank because that's going to be a much darker shade of red later that I'm going to mix with black. Payday 3? Okay. I can't say that I know anything really about that franchise because it's not my realm of gaming oh yeah i was looking forward to a loud but you know if it's colorful enough i'll watch anybody play it i like bright colors but i can't say that i truly know anything about it oh for love i actually associate a well something akin to a diox purple like this dark color purple is the color i associate with love Oh, it's probably your fault, hun. <laughs> I definitely associate purple with love because it's Infectionary's favorite color. And it's also the colors that are most prevalent when you're talking about, like, the Haunted Mansion and Nightmare Before Christmas. And, you know, those are very strong. Those are, those are franchises I feel very strongly about. So I naturally connect those with love. I do love purple. My favorite color is turquoise, but I love the play of the way that turquoise and purple look together. I had done like vintage Valentine's Day paintings last year, and one of them was like this adorable puppy dog, like stuffed puppy dog, and I did it all over in like a uh, purples and turquoises and greens for the background, like the striped uh, Haunted Mansion made costume. Loved it. Absolutely loved that piece. It's still looking for its forever home. A lot of the times I think of my paintings as my children. And so whenever they get adopted out, I love to see like the environments they're going to. Like pre, like pre-screen, are you, are you, are you like, is it okay if you own one of my paintings? Are you a good person? Are you going to, you know, not dump me in the trash? Are you going to take care of me? Display me? Are you proud of me? Like, like I've got feelings about my paintings. Like, they're part of me. Drive carefully, Taylor. Have a great day. And I, I'm just wild for this shade of blue. Utterly wild for this. I am still taking ideas for what to paint next week. So definitely if you've got some ideas or suggestions or things you'd like to see, drop them in chat. I want to know. I want inspiration, inspire me. When did I first start painting? Um, I started probably about 2011. Um, I was just finished up with college and I needed a hobby because I was no longer in school and I needed a way to fill time. And then when my sister-in-law had a baby, we started doing painting tutorials online together. And I grew to really love it. Like it became very cathartic to paint out my feelings. And then it became a thing where 
all right, well, that's how they did it on the painting tutorial, but how can I make it different? How can I make it me? What can I replace? What can I change? And it just became this perpetual challenge of taking the tutorial and spinning it on its head. Like, how can I make it different from everybody else's? And after a while, it just became a thing where I was, you know, deciding my own pieces, no longer following tutorials. I took the lessons and built my own. And I'm currently mixing a shade of light pink because I don't have any pink paint because I need light pink for her bow. But I definitely like every painting brought me closer to being better. And we only did these at first like once a month. And then I started it as like a business model a few years or not a few. Well, yeah, I think it actually has been a few years now. And I was selling acrylic paintings at local marketplaces and doing like the whole street vendor thing. And I got burned out. Like I, I had actually tried doing Twitch last year and it was just so disheartening that I wasn't ready to try again. I, it took almost like six months off of painting before I came back to the easel because I was just so disheartened. But I am glad to be back because that for a while I was all sewing all the time with absolutely no breaks and I would get burned out on the sewing. So it gives me a little bit of a small amount of balance. And I am going to put a little bit of like light there just because I'm trying to create this fold and I don't want it to get lost entirely. So I want this part to be specifically a little lighter to help inform my decision on the dots situation in that spot later. Do you do any kind of uh, arts or crafts or anything, Damon? Any fun hobbies? Okay, and I'm gonna do the same over here. I'm gonna keep this side a little darker and then work in some white as I get up to the top of this section of the bow just so that way it doesn't get lost that this is a fold in the bow. And her eyebrow kind of peeks up over that. Okay, so we've got kind of one side of the bow in there. I'm going to darken that up just a little bit. It's a little lighter than I want. There we go. All right, now for the other side. The middle is going to be pretty dark. We're going to leave that pretty much straight, this color. And again, for this, I just mixed cadmium red hue with white. And it gives you kind of that soft baby pink. And I'll put just a tiny bit of white here in the center. Just for a little bit of depth. Okay, now we'll go to this side. And this side doesn't show a lot of folds, so I'm not going to worry so much about that over here. I'm just going to add some random white areas so that way the bow looks dimensional. So I'm going to focus the darker areas in a handful of places. And I'm not mixing this on the palette. I am just mixing this on the canvas itself. Mm, there's not really a way for me to paint this without blocking the view. So I'm sorry about that. I did 
make some updates to my website, to my shop site, and it does now ship to the United Kingdom and to Australia. I had to make some shipping changes in there for it to discover international shipping. So if that impacts you and you are curious, it's there now. All right. And we're almost in with the base layer of this bow. And I am going to add a little bit of light, light up here. And a little bit here. Okay, so that's the basis of her bow. And I'm going to rinse my brush. And I'm going to mix a little bit of this red here, and then I'm going to add some black in, just so this spot is nice and dark. Okay. I'm going to go in and touch up a couple of places to darken the overall paint. And then add a little bit of white, just for a little bit of shading, not a whole lot, because most of the work isn't gonna be done by this part. Most of the work is gonna be done by the dot work that's gonna come after this. and adding a little more of my purple. And while I'm right there, I'm gonna go ahead and flip the canvas to do the underside. So that way I don't have to worry about whether or not I'm going to frame it. It could just go right up on the wall when it's done. Well, after it's dry anyway. All right, and now I'm gonna to switch to my detail brush. So I'm gonna start outlining Daisy in the black and all of the pieces. And doing this with a slightly damp edge will help make sure you've got a nice clean line. All right, and just continuing to outline the edges of where all the colors change. This will help the colors bounce back when I'm doing my dot work. It just gives it that really nice crisp touch. Not unlike the style I did when I did my stained glass painting about a month ago now. I had painted the um, Prefect's bathroom from Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. That one has since left Twitch because of the length, but it was exported to YouTube if you were curious how that turned out. And that piece is for sale. It is looking for a home. Okay, 
and I'm almost done with outlining the bottom. And I am going to go ahead and kind of mark where the sleeve goes, the little puff sleeve there, and that little bit of a detail of the ruffle. I love a good ruffle. I love a good puff sleeve. I definitely will seem be doing more sewing streams here pretty soon since that since my test ones were successful but those will probably not be like finished garments in a single stream just because most of the time making a single garment will make take like 12 hours so that's definitely definitely a long haul piece they'll probably be broken up into sections and maybe not all of it finished on stream Okay, and then there's a bit of a piece that kind of goes there to extend out her bill. All right, now we're going to go around the eyes. And eyelash. Eyelash, eyelash. There we go. I was watching um, somebody earlier today and I was seeing them lose their temper a little bit and I was like, ooh, that's some Donald Duck energy right there. But Daisy can be sassy too, and I think that she's probably really upset that they put Donald Duck in Disney Dreamlight Valley and then didn't bring her. Like, it's no wonder he's throwing a, ten a temper tantrum like every 10 seconds. His girl's not there. He's alone. Like, what were you thinking, Disney? He's codependent. He needs his Daisy. Oh, oh, thank you. No, this is this is the ugly stage. Every painting has an ugly stage and we are in it right now. This is this is not anything in the moment. Um, and that's what I tell a lot of beginning painters to don't be discouraged. Because definitely like every painting gets this point where you're wondering, is it turning out? And you won't really know until you reach the end. This is just the base layer. This is the beginning of the story. This is chapter one, if you will. And I flipped the canvas because I didn't want to get my hands in my paint. And sometimes when you're doing curved lines, a good trick is to start from the top of it and work your way down to the bottom. It would, her house would go so beautifully. And how is Minnie doing without her BFF? Like seriously. Get on board, get on board Disney. Minnie needs her BFF, they need shopping buddies. Also, we need more shops. Do that too while you're right there. We need more shops. Scrooge is never supplying me with anything new. I have like, 800 uncollected furniture items and they just keep giving me the same BS every day. I'm about to have a Donald tantrum. I do love that they made it where it shows a little red dot if you haven't purchased it already though. So, you know, I'll give them some slack. They made some, they made some very much needed things done for me. I like to collect all the things. I may not even use all the pieces, and I certainly won't use all the pieces in the Star Path, especially the ones that are more Pixar geared, just because I'm just not a big Pixar fan. I like musicals, and I haven't found that the Pixar movies have a lot of, like, any music in them other than their actual, just their soundtrack. And that makes me sad. I want my characters to sing. It means they're happy. I like happy. 
All right, so we've got our base layer in. Now we're going to fill in our background. I'm going to give her a dark purple background. I think she she's earned that royal vibe. And I'm going to use my angle brush to do that. Because it's nice and wide, but it will still give me a smooth line. I want to see all of the houses that used to be in Toontown at the Magic Kingdom in Disney Dreamlight Valley. Like, I want to see all of them. That would be great. And I'm not too worried about, like, the texture or anything in my background here because I'm going to be filling the space with fun stuff. I don't, I haven't decided exactly what yet. Maybe it'll be like fireworks or hearts, or maybe it'll be like swirls of hearts. Actually, yeah, I think I kind of like the idea of swirls of hearts. I think that's going to be the ticket. Swirls of hearts. Yes, that that's the winner. And I'm not worried about covering up this black line because black will always be the darkest. As long as it's the driest, it'll be fine. And I'll highlight it later. For now, I am just filling in all of the white space. So what's on the agenda for today, Telly? Oh, that's right. You're officially a time traveler for me because you're in Wednesday now, right? You're in Wednesday and I'm in Tuesday. Courtney! Welcome in, Courtney! We are painting Daisy Duck, because I think she deserves a place in the valley. Disney doesn't seem to agree with me, but clearly I know more than they do. I hope you have a spectacular start to your day. I'm going to pop and get the side and the bottom of my canvas too, so that way I don't have to worry about framing it later. Manifest that positivity, Courtney. You will have a spectacular day. Say it, say it, say it. You will have a spectacular day. Tell me when you've completed your homework. Oh, yay! Fitness goals. I like fitness goals. I just can't ever keep them. You will have a spectacular day. Good, good. I'm, I'm glad we agree. You will crush your gym goals, whatever they may be. You will crush it. I have all of the faith. I actually went to the gym once while I was in Australia because I was a member of um, Orange Theory Fitness and I loved it because the, out the workout was exactly the same no matter where you were in the country. Well, thank you. He's very lucky. I'm very lucky too, but he's also very lucky. Every now and again, the world gets lucky and the perfect pairing matches up. If you're wondering why I'm turning it around, it is so I don't get my wrist in the paint and so I don't cross all the way over the painting, blocking the camera view. So if you get seasick, let me know. <laughs> oh. 
Uh, we already ascertained earlier that I'm her mom, so that was that was awkward. I had to I had to give her a little bit of a lecture. <laughs> I did. I did. She was being naughty on someone's chat, and I was trying to be nice. <laughs> I can't say that it was particularly effective, but I did try. Bats will be bats. <laughs> In all fairness, though, it was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. So I was lurking while I was at work in someone else's stream. And I could only gather the context of what was happening uh, by reading the discourse between Fat and the streamer. And, well, it didn't sound very nice. It didn't sound nice just by what I was reading. So I scolded her. And then you know, she took advantage of it. So I was like, I can only understand what's happening based on the conversation. And so she was typing in some funny things that weren't actually occurring on screen. Like she was doing, providing her own narration of events, right? And it was quite funny, but I thought she was dead serious at first. And I was like, be nice, be nice. Uh, yes, 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 it was. And I felt bad for him because he was getting so frustrated with the game he was playing. But yeah, Elden Ring is super hard, so I give them a pass for that, but it was uh, a little intense for me, so after a little while, I, I hopped out to get prepared for my own stream. <laughs> I can't say that as a general rule, I think I prefer women too. They're just nicer, or at least they come across as nicer. Um, then I guess that's what I really mean. Well, I, I don't know that I 100% say that, but I will say it. they're easier for me to empathize with, and I'll leave it at that. I will leave it at that. They like to joke that I'm such that I'm such an extreme feminist. Uh-oh, what's the fun fact? You are so adorbs, Telly. You could talk to anybody. You're okay. You won't go worry about it. You are just too cool. Just be you. You don't need to talk a special kind of way to somebody. <laughs> True story. It's legit how I met Telly. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that's adorable. That I, is... I even, when I was first, my first, I think it was like my first to third chat was like, yeah, I'm just looking at for Aussie streamers because I have a lesbian friend who wants a mommy. Oh, wow. That was one of my first messages. That's, that's pretty epic. I don't know, I can be your American wife if you like. <laughs> but you'd have to run it by infectionary first. Yes. Yes. 
and if I were a goose, I'd be cooked. Sorry, it's a line from a musical. That That is actually a line from a musical um, from Guys and Dolls. Sergeant Sarah Brown sings it when she's drunk drinking Dolce de Leche on a, on a dinner date in Cuba. I was, I played the role of Sergeant Sarah Brown when I was in high school and I did a performance of Guys and Dolls. Do not, no, 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 it's adorable. It's an adorable story. There is no need for that. For one, you'd have to understand and feel the word of shame. And I don't feel shame about anything ever. It's rule number one, never feel shame. Even if you probably should, or people think that you've done something horribly embarrassing, own it, own it. I am wearing the world's rattiest pajamas right now. I am not embarrassed. I am so happy and comfortable. All right, so I've got my little bit of a textured background in and I'm gonna flip it back right side up. And now I'm going to start attacking the dot situation. I don't even know what just happened there. Oh, automatic. Ah. Uh, Did you have your restrictions so high? Oh, fair. It's fine. I take care of it. I am very careful to create a very, very positive and welcoming space because that is my vibe. That is my meaning. That is my purpose in this world. All right. Now we're going to do the fun thing. Cringing. Why are you cringing? There's no need for that. No need. All right. So I'm, now I'm putting paint on my dotting tool and I'm going to just start dotting in places where I've already got purple and various sizing of the dots. Yeah, what he said. There's, there's a place to meet people. There's a place to meet people. There's always a place. Ooh, you're going to go work up a sweat, huh? Nice. Yeah, for me, it's like 7.30 at night. My day is starting to, to wind down. All right, now I'm going to put a little bit of white in here. Not a lot, just a little bit to highlight. Oh, what? I missed the first part of that message. Telly stream or chat's going to teach her how to talk to women. Oh, nice. You can do it. I have the faith. I promise it's not hard. All right. And I'm going to rinse my dotting tool. And now I'm going to take a little bit of my cad orange and I'm going to put it on my palette and I'm going to put it right next to my cad yellow because I'm not going to use a whole lot of this. I am going to be using this in the duck bill, kind of where, where I've got all my black lines outlining things. It's going to help generate well, you you kind of put it out there to the whole world. I don't think it's a secret anymore. But good for you. Too much of a control freak. I couldn't do it. A 
<laughs> All right, and I'm just going to continue to throw on a little bit of these. And I'm going to go in there with some white as well. Ultimately, I'm going to have so many dots on here in varying shades that you won't see the solid under there so much by the time I'm finished. That's actually part of why dot work takes so long, but it is very rewarding and sort of cathartic in its own way. As long as you're not sitting there stabbing it, then you wind up with holes. Have a good time at the gym. Do well. Have a wonderful day. I hope you meet all of your goals. Okay, now I'm gonna take the orange and I'm gonna put the orange inside the mouth too. It won't be super noticeable, but the idea is to help build that texture with every layer. You're fine, you're fine. It's okay. All right, and now I'm gonna take some of my red and I'm gonna start working my red into the bow sort of in the areas where I've got this dark space. All right, I'm gonna confess myself an old person. What is Riz? Is that the same thing as having game? Riz is short for charisma, so yes. Okay, charisma, got it. Hubby to the rescue. Listen, I only know because I spend so much time streaming with these young folk. Young folk. All right, so I think he tripped over his words more than you did, Telly. I think you can give yourself a pass. I had a brain fart. Brain farts happen, and that's okay. I love you. The best part about my sewing studio and painting area is that I share it with Invectionary. So a lot of the times when he's streaming or participating in games and he's like laughing his butt off in the chair next to me, I can walk over and be like, what is so funny? What's going on? I want to be in on the joke. It lets me be like a third party involved in everything. Best day ever. All right, so I've got the beginnings of my red worked in there, and now I'm gonna put, because I did put lighter areas of my pink paint, I'm gonna put those as my dark areas, as dots in some areas. You are beyond precious, Kelly. You do not need to be self-conscious at all. All right, and I'm going to work some more red into my original paint mix, my pink, so that way it's a little darker. Okay. So I'm coming back in with my slightly darker pink, which I'm now realizing looks a lot like Pepto-Bismol. Hey, Mendo! Welcome in. What did I have for dinner? I haven't eaten anything yet. I'm not really hungry. And Infectionary ordered dinner and then didn't get me anything. So shame on him. Shame on him. Shame, shame, shame. He didn't even ask me. <laughs> oh wow, things are happening so fast. They're completely, I'm completely missing things. I'm so sorry. 
Uh, you always have to be poker check your painting. Yeah, but I, I want to know what's going on. I want to know. I want to know what people are saying. I don't want to miss things. I have fear of missing out. <laughs> All right, and I'm going to put a little more of my red. I need to work some more darkness into my pink. It needs to be a little, a little more rich in color, a little less washed out for what I want to do. And I have a feeling I'm going to use pink in part of my background. Same. Dessert. Dessert first. Life is short. Dessert first. Girl after my own heart. Way to go, Courtney. You have just validated every restaurant decision I have ever made. But yeah, yeah, Telly, he totally ordered dinner for himself and didn't get me anything. And he got a, and he ordered from a place that has shakes, and I didn't even get an I didn't even they get They never have the shakes. He ordered <laughs> the shakes many times. They always come back and go, well, they said they didn't have them. So we never get the shakes. I always want the shakes. They don't have the shakes. <laughs> it's disappointing every time you try to get the goddamn shakes. <laughs> All right, facts. He's, he's right. He's right. They they never have this. The machine is always busted, purportedly. I think they just don't want to clean it. Lazy. They're so lazy. No, no, no. Maybe it's maybe it's not that. Maybe I shouldn't assume that. But it could be it could be a legitimate problem. You know, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. It's we just got really bad luck with that. Yes, I buy cheesecake for dinner. Mm-hmm, it's true. You want to hear what I ate for like the last three days while all these stream things were happening? I ate lemon Oreo cookies. I ate Reese's. I ate uh, white cheddar crackers. I ate... Um... Oh, no, I think I already said the Reese's. There was another There was another candy in the mix, and I can't remember what it was. Oh, that's right. The, the Haribu jelly, um, cherry-flavored gummy bears. The Happy Bears that are sh shaped like cherries that are cherry-flavored. And then soda. And, like, monster coffee. This was what I ate for the last three days. Real food doesn't happen in our house often. Not, not... Not like like substantive actual like food food like if it's you know like the meat potatoes the whole vegetable thing like no ew gross get that away from me I want my sweets sweets for every day like that's how you know you're grown up when you can eat sweets for every meal of the day and there's no one to say you can't like that th that is adulthood supreme adulthood supreme means no one can tell you no. I approve. I don't particularly like pickles, but I approve of the sentiment. Go for it. Live your best life. Have those pickles and Pepsi mags. If it makes you happy. Oh, there, those are, there's a song thing in there. If it makes you happy. There you go. Did you? Did, I embarrassed the shit out of myself. No, I don't feel shame. Never mind. Wasn't embarrassed. I own it. You and your beef sticks. Beef stick. Beef stick. No, 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 beef stick. I beef stick, Uh, yeah, you do. Same. I don't like a full meal either. It's just... I w if I was to eat a proper full meal, I would probably feel sick. Like, just from being over full. But I know a lot of that is to do with portion sizes because the portion sizes here are astronomical compared to elsewhere. Like you guys in Australia have much more normal portion sizes. Although I will say this one small critique. Why is refills on beverages not a thing? Like that, that was the only upsetting thing the entire time I was there. 
was the idea that anytime you wanted a drink, you had to get, you had to purchase a whole new drink. All right, so I'm going to take a break from that area for a moment, and I am going to start tackling her eyes, and then I'm going to start working on her actual, like, feathers. Well, the area that would be feathers, the white area. And so I'm going to mix a little bit of white in with my light blue. On my palette all right and grabbing my dotting tool and I'm going to start putting a few dots there and I'm letting the paint be really thick and raised because I'm just trying to create texture like there's no I do not want this smooth if I was to run my fingers over this when it's dry I should feel a ton of little bumps All right, and now I'm gonna put some straight white in there. And I'm gonna start mixing a shade, a really, really light shade of gray that I'm gonna use in the pupil and in the feathers because I'm not leaving the white plain. Like I'm starting off with the like barest hint of gray here. And I'm going to get progressively darker. And I'm doing this first in the eyes and then I'm going to do it where the white is. And ultimately, in the whites of her eyes, I will probably also circle back and put a little bit of that light blue in there. Because your eyelids would, you know, everything would reflect back, like anything that's in your eyes would bounce back. So you would see colors and everything else. And it also adds a little bit more visual interest. Yes, yes, and I'm not done in that area yet, but it the whole area will be almost entirely consumed with dots. Maybe next year when they do the Rock the Dots event at Disney Springs, I'll do a, like a Minnie Mouse piece to correspond with it in commemoration of the event. because this is still really early in the preliminary stages. Like right now, it looks like I'm just giving her acne. Don't worry, Daisy, I won't be doing that to you. It's not acne, it's glory. It's glory, you hear me? <laughs> I also did a couple of Pokemon paintings like this too. I sold the Galarian wheezing that I had, but I'm still got trying to find a home for the chandelier painting I did. 
I love the Chandelure. It's one of my favorite. I love the dark and ghost type Pokemon. Those are my favorite. They are just so cool. All right, I've got almost a nice healthy smattering of my initial gray dots. I just got to do a little bit more fill in. I may actually use some iridescent medium in her painting too. The iridescent medium is literally just glitter medium that you would mix in with other paint to make other paint look glittery. I used that when I did the Cornish pixie painting for my friend to commemorate her. So Talia, I gotta give you the joke. So while I was uh, prepping and making some changes around and whatnot on my website today, I started adding in like some international shipping options and I was like, holy crow, it's like $35 to ship things to the United Kingdom in Australia. But I did look into it and I added those as options in there. But yowza, expensive. which is terrible because you guys got a lot of great fabric stores over there. My favorite seamstress sells uh, exclusive prints to Spotlight. And that is a store that does not exist in the US. sad face. We only have like chain fabric stores near me. All right, so I've got my base in and so I'm going to rinse off my dotting tool. And I'm going to work a little bit of that light blue into her eyes. And it's not going to be a lot, so it won't be overwhelming, but I want it kind of semi noticeable that it's there. Sort of like a secret, like, hi, I have gorgeous blue eyes. I mean, I also have gorgeous blue eyes. I love my eyes. How lucky that I am to have my favorite color as my eye color. <laughs> and I'm also gonna put a little bit of it here in her pupil. See, Telly, the secret to talking to girls is to talk to anyone the way you want to be talked to. Like, what would make you feel good? Say that. That's what you should say. Whatever makes you feel good, say that to someone else. For me, that specific phrase is, oh, honey, buy all the fabric you want. That's my phrase. That makes me feel good. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Welcome in, Taco. We are still in the ugly stages. We are still in the preliminary working stage. But she's starting to shape up. She's starting to, she's starting to look intentional. She's a duck on a mission. She's a duck on a mission. She's gonna accomplish things today. She's gonna accomplish making people smile. This is the ugly stage. Yes, trust me, when you see the end, you'll, you'll understand what I mean. This is the ugly stage where she mostly just looks like I've given her acne. Gross, no, no, don't do it, Telly. Don't do it, no, no, 
No. Kelly loves the baked bean donut. No. You know what? And that's especially fucked because someone gave me donuts at work today and there was a strawberry sprinkle and I couldn't eat it. It was ruined. It was utterly ruined for me. Cursed. Utterly freaking cursed. I will never be okay again. All right, now I need to do some light purple work in here. So I'm gonna add some white to my existing purple to just to lighten it up a little bit. The trick to doing and making great successful dot paintings is you have to have a lot of variation in your coloring. The more the more different dif different colors you incorporate, the more successful and intentional it looks. As opposed to just like someone dropping paint down. So it create it, you definitely need lots of it and lots of different colors, lots of dots. Rock the dots. That's the, the official name of the event that they do in January at Disney Springs. Rock the dots. And I'm sure like from the distance, this looks like nothing. Maybe at some point I'll have to get one of those top down, top down cameras. Sorry, I was just catching up. It's okay, I, I forgive you. In all honesty, this one is my fault because I, I needed someone to share the misery and I had him send it to Taco and I guess, you know, misery loves company. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, Taco, forgive me. Forgive me. <laughs> we can commiserate together on the horror. Yes, although it's not done. I'm going to be doing some cute little swirls there. And I'm probably going to do them in uh, like light pink hearts, the pink that I used in her bow. I'm going to match up against this dark purple. So it's gonna come a little full scale and you'll you'll see what I mean when I get to that part. Cause I usually save the background for last because I'll mix in all of the paint that's on my palette into the background. Yeah, I like that. I think maybe I'll work that in. Maybe that's why I'll do like the heart shape. Like, cause a couple of the, my favorite like animated shorts of her are the one where she's like stepping out with someone besides Donald Duck and she's like super sweet about it because Donald isn't giving her the right time of day and she's just like minor seductress like hi Daisy what are you doing like she's she's adorable I love her And now I'm going to take it and add a little more white in here. But I'm making sure that the dots remain very tiny. These are very minuscule dots. These are just adding some texture and visual interest. Like these are not, these are not the main story. They are supporting roles, millions and millions of supporting roles in this piece. That's part of the reason these take so long and why I won't do these on a large scale anymore. I did one as a commissioned piece for nearly $400 where I did an 18 by 24 of this featuring the stained glass scene from Beauty and the Beast where the, where he's a prince at the end and they're showing the castle. It took me three straight days. I slept maybe six hours in those three days to get that piece finished. But it was worth the effort. And, and you can check out any of my previous paintings either on my website, which you can find in the link tree, or they're also in an album in my Facebook page. If you doom scroll enough on Instagram, you might find it, but I think that would honestly take too long. It's just easier to go to the website. Oh, 
All right, and now I'm gonna, and I know it seems counterintuitive, but I am going to put white dots on the white areas because I need to fill that space and generate that texture. And by putting the white dots even possibly on top of existing gray dots, it adds a lot of value and texture that makes for a very, really good visual effect at the end. And this is definitely a very easy beginner style of painting is just very time consuming. So you can definitely do this for yourself. I would probably start with like small canvases, like three by fives. Yes, I, they, 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 they didn't actually show a whole lot of him as human. So it's hard to say what he would have been because he was like all of the early Disney princesses or princes. They're just sort of eh. Like they didn't really have names. They didn't have, you know, backstory. The, you know, like the first Disney prince, Prince Charming, doesn't even have a name. Like he's nothing. That poor guy's just just stuck in the realm of I'm a guy who sings in an orchard waiting for a girl to come outside. Actually, that sounds like an 80s an 80s movie theme. I wonder if that's where they stole the idea from. 16 Candles just got a lot less interesting. Yeah, yeah, they really don't put a lot into their character development for the princes. They really don't. They It took them a long time to do more. Um, they did better with Prince Philip in Sleeping Beauty, though. But I think that's because he's more like the main star of that show. Like, Aurora only has 18 lines in the whole stinking movie, and yet she has three names. How can I get behind that? Like, ew. No. Give me more screen time where I'm actually awake. If it's not totally obvious, she is my least favorite Disney princess. She's just so, because she's not vocal, she just seems too meek and thus unrelatable. Yes, they did a good job with them. And I actually also, and this is going to be super tropey, but I absolutely love Anna and Elsa too. They, Disney really did a good job with that. They did a great storytelling job and making them more relatable. And even kind of poke fun at themselves a little bit. That's important too. Uh, because you don't live in the US, you may not know, but they're retheming a ride here at Walt Disney World for Princess and the Frog. And they're writing all new original scores for it. So they're not even just like ripping it off the movie. Brand new soundtracks are being made to retheme um, oh, Splash Mountain into Tiana's Bayview Adventure. So I'm very excited for that. It's going to be so awesome. They, they were on the news about that interview where how the Disney Imagineers were spending weekends and weekends in New Orleans dealing with actual like um, Mardi Gras performers. And that is beyond, I love that they are, are really better with their research in general now when they're putting things out a lot more careful about cultural diversity and being inclusive. And I love that. I love that so much. They are making great strides. I am still just dropping in a little bit more white into her bill here, because I really want to highlight some parts of it. And then I'm going to come up and take some of this white up here into the bow. Really tiny dots. These are practically microscopic. But when you do enough of them over and over again, 
Really? Maybe I'll do a Tiana painting at one point. I haven't done her yet. I haven't done any of the Disney princesses as paintings, to be honest. I've only done Disney villains in uh, Pokemon, so Daisy is my first foray into the Fab Five. But I'm not opposed to doing a Disney princess. I just never thought there'd be any kind of interest in it. But I could see myself doing one. I love her friend Charlotte. She is just so everything. The energy on her. I'm gonna marry me a prince. So cute. Yes, yes. And um, on Disney Plus, the ones that are older that, that have those notations are actually like you have to um, set up a pin for um, because they don't consider it rated G. They don't rate it for kids. So you have it has to be pa uh, pass locked. Yes, yes. It bothered me for a long time that um, Splash Mountain was the theme they chose to do since it was based on a movie that is literally banned in the U.S. for being too offensive. Like, how do you have a ride that's based on music from a movie that you can't even watch? What are you trying to do? <laughs> I don't know what I, if I'm going to keep this one or list it, but I might put this one up for sale. We'll see. A lot of the times, I'll wait and see if I get an offer on it before I decide if it's going to be sold. Like, oh, okay, someone is interested in it. Could I recreate it? Am I emotionally attached to it? Does it deserve a good home? Or does it deserve a good home? Because my home is obviously a good home. I'm the, I'm the creator. You get what I mean. But I think I'm going to have to play with that later, hun. But no, we can, can work it out. I can do it. Okay. He's figuring things out tech for me. He's such a good hubby. Do you need normal OBS? Yeah, you do, don't you? Why? Is there a different okay. form of OBS? Yeah, I thought you had stream on. I mean, I use stream elements for some things, but I use OBS. Well, stream elements has their own version of OBS. Oh, no. Oh, can't add commands. Like at all, or is it one of those things where I have to do it manually behind the scenes? Do it manually. I'm going to add a bot to your page after you stream. Okay. The hubby is doing things. Hubby is doing things I don't understand. I can design my own alerts. I can design my own I, anything like design wise. And I actually was pretty proud of myself. I said set up OBS all by myself. Um, initially, when I was first doing this, I was using something else and I just didn't like it. So I did the research and I found this all by myself, which is probably why he's now complaining. <laughs> But I like my setup. I was proud of myself. Especially since I'm very apprehensive about this. Because it's more along the lines of, are you guys here because you like me? Or are you guys here because you threatened your cat? Okay, so we're almost done with the preliminary dots. Still got a little more work to do. I'm gonna go in and add some of these dark pink dots into the mouth. Oop, 
it got a little bit chunky there. Course correct and remove. And I'm also going to put a little bit of it on the actual tongue. The gym was busy, so you didn't get to work out? Ah. Well, I'm sure you'll get another chance. You did more than I did today. I did not even attempt to go to a gym. I don't even have a gym membership. I didn't even go for a walk. I was so lazy today. I have only done 1,500 steps. That's right. This is probably my lowest day ever. I have, I have literally grown super lazy. I used to be hyper competitive. Mm. Okay. That's cool that you get to go in the middle of the day. It's true. Now you can now you can work on talking with Telly. Get her used to talking with girls. You can practice. We will bear witness. I don't mind. <laughs> How is it looking so far since you, since you were last tuned in? What do you think, Courtney? Thank you. Because it's technically not a difficult thing to do, a lot of the times I'll feel a little bit of imposter syndrome when I'm painting. So it's definitely, this is, this has been like my personal exercise in breaking through that thought process. Ooh, what do you, I want to, oh, what's, what's for breakfast? Like I said, I haven't eaten. I'm, I want to know. Breakfast sounds good. What's some Waffle House? Pancakes. Waffles, pancakes. Waffles. Waffles sounds good. Bacon and eggs. Very nice. Very nice. Sorry, I'm on the waffle train over here. I have, I'm just, I'm just not gonna be able to get off the waffle train. I'm gonna live there for a little while. All right. And let's go ahead and put a little bit of black in the mouth here too, because we've got it going on on her tongue. Not a lot, just a little bit here and there. For just kind of letting people know that there is depth yes howdy <laughs> we're just letting people know that there's depth to her mouth it's not just like this little flat circle and i'm gonna go ahead and put a few black dots inside the eye too inside the pupil they won't necessarily be super visible, but it will help tell the story of the dots. Howdy! Be careful. Don't chat and drive. It can wait. I won't be here a little minute. <laughs> this is not going to be a fast one. I actually think I'm going to work some of this black into the purple shirt, too. I think that will look good. Like, I'm going to go a little bit rogue here. As you do. Oh, that's right. I have had a soda here this whole stinking time, and I have completely forgotten. Soda. Tonight is sponsored by no one. Absolutely no one. But this is what's keeping me alive at the moment. I love soda. I am a soda junkie. Freely admit it. No shame. Just be careful. All right, and now I'm going to work in some yellow dots. And I want these to be kind of on the thick side because I want them to be textural more than actually providing depth or color. 
She was still here, Courtney. She may have just stepped out for a second because I, I saw the word breakfast. So she may have may have gone to check out the breakfast situation at her house. Or she may be blushing in a corner someplace. That that might be happening too. I'm laying odds on blushing. <laughs> love you. Absolutely love you. You are amazing. Confidence in yourself. You must have. Everyone knows how amazing you are. Is no secret. It's too bad one of the seven dwarfs wasn't named Blushing. But we do have a bashful. We do have a bashful. I like that. Work that in. <laughs> Resuscitate. Resuscitation. Makes me think of that. I need a herb. I need a herb. I'm never going to not, I'm never going to never not remember that. It's just always going to live rent free in my head. I need a herb. I had to watch that story being played twice because I guess the auto generated character, this, this, the second player when it, when it was controlled by the AI was absolute dog crap. And so I had to watch a friend play through it. And then because, you know, trophies and people played games for trophies a lot back then, I had to watch the other person help the other person get through it. It was horrible. Horrible. All night long, all you could hear was, I need a herb. <laughs> what is going on? is hitting on Ooh. super cute all right so now i'm going to add a little more of a dark gray in here where our, we've got all of our feathers so i'm going to add just a little bit of black into that gray i created earlier just a little bit darker. That's how you level up the skill. You have to keep using it. Advance your skill tree. I support you. Oh, how close is the beach for you? For me, it's like an hour and a half. I miss being closer. I used to literally be like 40 minutes to the beach. But there's not like a good beach diagonal to me. So I have to go north and south or north or south and then east or west instead of just going east or west, which makes me sad. Four minutes. All right. I'm getting on a plane. I'm coming to visit you. I'm getting on a plane. 24 hours later, two days into the future, I will arrive. <laughs> but I'd have to go with an empty suitcase, so that way I can buy fabric to carry back. That would be the rule. Fabric to carry back. Must go shopping for fabric. Dims de rules. That's my new vacation rule. I need a suitcase for just fabric. Gorgeous local only fabric. Well, yeah, you guys are on the opposite se season spectrum. Like, like how cold is it like right now? Like, 
I'll have to bust out a Celsius converter because I know that's the temp used over there. I went in March and it wasn't, or not like this March, but I went in a March and it wasn't so bad. What? What? Congratulations on leveling up. That is epic. Go you. Living the dream. Do you guys have to worry about... Do you guys have to worry about uh, hurricanes as much over there? Or, or well, I imagine it's probably... I think they're called cyclones because they go in the reverse direction. Do you guys have that as like a, 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 a regular ongoing worry and concern? 42? 42. Ooh. All right, you're right. I would be very cold. I would be very cold, but I could do it. You would just see me wearing a billion layers. I did make my own coat. Um, and it has Insulbright and like four layers of like fleece and uh, this insulating layer with metal that bounces my body heat back to me. Like I'm ready, bring on the war. My coat will take on like 10 degrees Fahrenheit. I could probably take all the way down to zero degrees Celsius in that coat, and I would probably be unaffected. I'm ready for war. I prepped it in case I have to visit my folks in Michigan, and they routinely get negative temps there. Oh, hey -o. Besties in the city! Look at you making connections. I was specifically given a job, and even though Courtney ignored me initially, it is all coming together. Good job, hubby of mine. Good job. I can totally see, like, Adorable little drinks out on the beach. Adorable little picnic blanket, but with like parkas because it's 42 degrees. <laughs> oh man. No, I already know if I'm gonna visit, I'll have to go in December. One, because you know, it's just more comfortable for me. I'm gonna throw some of this gray up in here too, just because I've got so much of it left over. It's gonna tell a story. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, so we're all sleeping over at Courtney's. We're all sleeping over. Actually, no, hold on, Let's. Do, we did this wrong. Telly is closer to the beach. Sleep over at Telly's. Everyone travel. I'll bring my sewing machine. Toga party. Are those even still? No, those are not a thing anymore. Those are not a thing anymore. And I'm going to put some of this gray in the eyes, too. I love that. It looks exactly like how the ads show up when you're doom scrolling websites that still have ads enabled. Yes. Yes, he is. Our computers are not incredibly far apart, so you may pick up ambient noise behind me. The giggles may be me. I don't know. I like, I like to giggle. I'm a giggler. All right, and now for the eye whites. I 
Although I cannot giggle on command, I cannot do that. That is a bit above my purview. There's a limit to my masterpiece, but not this masterpiece. This masterpiece has no limits. Well, I feel like I need to give voice to this one. The hot 25 year old single in your area was hilarious. There we go. Somebody had asked me earlier if I was willing to read on stream, uh, just because evidently I'm really great at telling a story and doing the voices. So that is courtesy for that. Hilarious. That is quack and adorable. All right, I'm going to let that face and Daisy rest a little bit. I am going to work on the background now. And I'm going to chalk in a rough idea of what it is I'm wanting to do so it doesn't get lost. So I'm thinking I'll start with dot shapes and a couple of hearts, and they're going to echo. The dots are going to echo around those hearts. So I'm going to start with those two and see where that leads me from. So I'm going to do this light purple. And the, the chalk will, will dry away, like fluff away later after my paint is dried. So right now it's just informing my decision for my shape of the heart. See, Tally, you got game. Everyone wants to steal your title. It was a good title. And I'm going to turn it upside down. When you're doing dot work, it's important to occasionally wipe off your dotting tool, or you can use the backside of a paintbrush so that way your dots stay consistent or relatively consistent in size, if that is your goal. Otherwise, over time, it'll start to dry up around the sides and get really thick. And I think I'm going to do more dashes for the outside rather than dots specifically. So I'm going to switch back over to my tiny brush. And they're just going to be really tiny strokes because I want to imply movement. Like these are like heart fireworks because she is a sweetie. And a little bit of a firecracker. And I'm gonna do the inside too. And then I'm gonna swap back to my purple And they're just little itty bitty dashes. And I got a little wispy on my brush that I need to trim off that is bothering my clean line. There we go. It was microscopic, but it was super easy to tell up close. Okay, and back to my little dashes. Uh 
uh-oh, uh-oh. Charge your phone, charge your phone. Gotta take care of business. You gotta stay safe. You gotta know where you're going. Don't drive into scary places. Also, if you don't, if your phone is dead, then you won't be able to get emergency services. And now that I started to run into Daisy, I'm skipping that part of the heart and just continuing around. This is just going to be a radiating heart. Sort of like a dot heartbeat. And it's going to continue off the side of the canvas. And I'm going to work in a little bit of blue now. Because I've still got blue on my palette. All right, I am evidently missing a good time in Discord right now. I'm gonna flip my canvas. And get the outside. And for this one, I'm gonna swap and I'm gonna do the blue. Instead of going right into the pink, because I don't want them to necessarily be identical. These are, these are like just random little heartbeats. And now I'm going to go into my pink. <laughs> I'm not included either. Don't feel too bad. I am so lost. But stick to being careful, Hyrule. Stick to being careful. Drive careful. It looks like you two might actually be in the same area. All right, and I'm going to switch back to blue. I know. That's why I said might. That's why I said might. And ultimately, we'll go back in, in between here and add layers of black and layers of the dark purple so that they appear even darker. Sounds good. Thank you for coming in. I'll probably still be finishing up. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and pop in some black. I'm here. And working back in my light purple. Whatever he is, he's lying. Only find out if Kelly ever joins. All right. Happy Yoda. Thanks for dropping in. <laughs> All right, and I'm going to go into my dark purple. That's what I'm saying. You're not the first one I've run into this issue with Dom. I'm uh, I'm setting up a lab, and it's gonna be me, Kelly, Hyrule, and uh, my friend Cat, and 
be in high roll where that hurts. <laughs> yeah, and I knew if I roll way before you. I'm doing great. How are you? How's your day going? Or how did you, you all, oh, it's probably the start of the day for you. Are you having great expectations for the day? I can't remember which time zone you're in. We are just working on a Daisy Duck painting because I think she belongs in Dreamlight Valley. So I am petitioning for Daisy because Daisy is awesome and sassy and so beyond epic. And I gotta continue it around the top. And then off the side over here. And now I gotta decide if I wanna keep going with these two hearts specifically or if I wanna fill the space in with swirls. What do you think? New hearts up here and here or swirls? Australia. I did it in Australia. Okay. I'm thinking swirls. Kangaroos. Trying to kill you. So I'm gonna start like this. And I'm starting with my lightest color so it can help inform my shape. And I'm leaving space for other colors to go in between because this is going to be a little bit of a vortex. Are you near any of the other groups? No, sorry. Yeah, I know, Reese. Yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and just fill all of the remaining space with these swirls. One on one side and one on the other until they meet where the heart is. Yep. Being careful to hit the sides too for continuity. Of course, I had to hype up the blue against the purple. Blue and purple is my jam. You're gonna die. Information overload. All right, and we're almost done with labeling out that swirl. We're almost there. We're getting there. We're going places. We're going on an adventure. And I'm going to start a different swirl in this spot. But I'm going to rinse my brush because my lines were getting a little thick. Yeah, Emmy's the besties. I heard my name, my ears are burning. Me and Courtney are talking about this. Aww. Thank you. I needed that. I needed that. I, I definitely I have been struggling with a little bit of imposter syndrome. I definitely needed that. So oh, she's our and she can cheat some stuff. Uh, who? Oh, you want to hug her? You can hug her. Yes, 
Yes. Free hugs, free hugs. I used to stand in a line in college for that and hold up a sign that said free hugs. You're more than welcome to come to the Disney Booker and take my spot in the bed. He's never sleeping in it anyway. You may have to fight a puggle for a spot, though. It's a tiny dog. It's a tiny dog. And he's very old and lazy. I am doing fabulous, Yoda. How are you doing? Are you at the start or the end of your day or somewhere in between? All right, and now I'm adding another color into my swirls. We're creating the vortex of happiness. That's right, the vortex of happiness. What? What? Stress? Oh no! Do something stressful. Oh, you're only one hour behind me. I I hope whatever it is that's gotten that has you stressed is something that is not so difficult to resolve and you're able to feel better about it. You're not going to learn much. I definitely want all my sunshines to feel better, to feel good and have good days. Just a lot of big, oh yeah. Have you ever watched shows? Yeah. Very silly. Selling houses is 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 rough. That is super stressful. I remember I, now that you mentioned now that you're me, reminding me, I do remember you were saying that that was a thing that was happening. Actually, My least favorite part is staging the house to be sold. Into a uh, few custom matches with with Telly for friends. Yeah, I was like, do you want to do some like, custom? She's like, yeah. She is. I'm super. I hope super that super that situation like, works out well. Oh, wow. Oh, thank you. I'll, uh, I'll definitely be posting the, the finished at the end. I'm glad you stayed and chatted with me. Thank you. All right, now I'm going to turn my canvas so I can get the other side. 2.6 what was your average viewers at? 2.8 this morning. It was at 2.8 this morning, so that should wrap it up. Thank you for everybody who came in to save me today. Six for that is super brave, Yoda, to move across to move across the country. Have you already found something new to do, or are you still in the process of looking for something new to do? Because looking for a house and looking for a job, yeah, I feel you. That That is beyond stressful. Keep your mouth shut. We know why you would move. We can't say. Got it. Okay. No, I hope that everything works out well. Yeah. And, and fingers crossed for a smooth sale of the house. I think I have scared. I didn't realize that was his. Okay. And I gotta finish it over here. Oop. It's important to do this part as you go. Oh yeah, houses are going so easily right now. I, I'm sure if you've got showings lined up that it'll be snapped up in a heartbeat. When I had to sell my house, I we didn't even make it to a showing. It just was bought.
in the command. In any case, it's not a secret. So I think that's a didn't didn't I read that that was a role someplace? It's a and in someone's Discord, and it's a command in someone's stream. Okay. Well, we'll go with not a secret, but probably wasn't wasn't needed to be announced. Just because something isn't a secret doesn't mean it has to be brought up. Fair? Fair. Okay. Cardi, Cardi really likes people to know. Is that... I, I'm not sure I want to ask that question. I think it's part of the kink. I don't know. I will save that as a personal question for another time. See, I can do discretion. I'm not great at it, but I can do it. You just have to tell me that you need to be discretion. What? It has. Okay. In any case, whole private, separate conversation happening somewhere in the background. I am moving on. So, <laughs> I'm putting moving on to my next color and my swirl. I am going to toss pink in there. But I'm not gonna go like the whole thing. I'm gonna do a couple of specific spots of pink. Just cause I'm not actually a big super fan of pink. I mean, I am like the hypest girly girl that was ever a girl, but. Ah, oh, that sucks. So you have to deal with a mortgage in one place and rent in another one. I'm sorry. That that bites major monkey balls. And a couple here. And for this, I'm going to let it be a little sloppier and a little bigger. Because this is a vortex. This is a vortex of happiness. So it doesn't have to be like specific. Oh, best thoughts and endeavors for that whole situation. That sounds complex. I did concurrent closings on my house and that was super stressful to buy a house and sell a house in the same day. I think I almost puked six times. Ain't that the truth. Uh, All right, and I'm gonna add some black in here. So we've got kind of this bit of this dark vibe going on, so I'm gonna embrace that a little bit. And I'm... It was, I think 6 a.m. It was 6 a.m., but the actual closing wasn't until like nine o'clock on the other side of the freaking county. So I had to drive an hour in there to get over there. And then an hour and a half to get to the place where I was closing on the new house directly afterwards. And then all of the wire transfers for all of the money had to be like perfectly on point. We were out of the house at like 6 a.m. Then I don't think we actually had the key until like 3 p.m. to the new house. So I just sort of chilled in the freaking truck. It was awful. Awful experience. Yeah. Buying and selling your house on the same day is not a thing. Oh. I will have to check that later, but it is also in my profile. I'm sorry about that. I, you, oh, it probably expires every week. That's what it is. Yeah. It expired from last week, and that's yeah, when I, I originally I said it. The hubby is going to be teaching me things. Yeah. 
that sounded more off-brand than I intended. You don't know how. Oh. All right, and I'm gonna eliminate my chalk marks here because now they're distracting me and those areas should be dry now. So I can smudge this without worrying. There we go. That's less distracting. It's just fair to say so. I am direct and to the point, okay? This is my no, personality quirk. Say, say so means wholesome. Huh? Say so means wholesome. What? You're wholesome. Yes, I'm wholesome. You came back at me with direct and to the point. Oh, well, I thought you had said something else, actually. <laughs> oh, well, I am very straight to the point. There's no shilly-shallying with me. I mean what I say, and I, and I say what I mean. Uh, if you don't say things specifically how you mean it, she doesn't get it. And now I'm going to go in and fill my little vortexes with even smaller little lines. Until the purple is just barely hanging out in the background. Isn't she such a good painter? Look at my hubby hyping me. Yeah, my hubby is epic. All right, I'm going to turn my canvas so I can get better access to this side because it's not as full as I want it to be. I want this to be so in your face. I want this vortex to be amazing. I want it to be focal. It's not meant to distract you from her, but it is meant to draw your attention. It is just as much a part of the painting as the painting itself. Like the subject matter itself. And I think I'm going to work a little bit of white into it as well because I do have some of it left on my palette and I don't want to end up with a lot of extra paint. So I'm just going to be adding a ton of these tiny little itty bitty brush strokes in between all of my existing brush strokes. And I'm not going to do these in every single row, but I am highlighting some specific areas to kind of bring in that visual interest. Some areas will be thicker, some areas will be thinner. The idea is that this is super complex. Oh, right. It's starting to shape up. I'm so excited with how good this is turning out. I was worried I had lost my touch for this because I hadn't done one of these in a little while. And when you, when you kind of get out of the dotting game, it gets a little bit intimidating to come back into it. The middle box is exactly. Oh, this is looking so awesome! I am so excited. I love it when something's starting to pan out and look like what I envisioned. My baby is being born. Uh, 
I just, I just can't even. This is adorable. Daisy, you're so sweet. They need, we need you in Dreamlight Valley. Donald Duck needs you. That's the initial sketch. All right. So let's see. What else does she need? I think we need some more blue in a couple of places. Let's tell a little bit more story with the blue. I wonder. I'm thinking maybe I might work in a little bit of the yellow, too. Yeah. Uh, actually, no. I, don't, I think the yellow is too transparent. I don't think that's going to work. That's okay. That's okay. We'll fill in the rest of the space. We are almost there, guys. The endeavor is almost finished. Achievement is almost unlocked. We are so close. It only fires the shit. All right, what do you think? Do we think I'm done? Do we think I'm done or do you think she needs more? I could totally do more. What do you think? What do you think? Is she pretty? Does she feel finished? Does she feel finished to you? I think it's finished. I don't know, I'm struggling, I'm struggling. She's asking. I don't know, there's... I'm not, I'm not quite happy yet. I'm not quite happy yet. I need more up here. That's what it is. I'm not happy with this upper corner. It's not light enough in the center. I made it too dark. It needs, the center needs to be just a little lighter. I kind of want it to look like light is coming from the center. I think this would make maybe video 21 that's on YouTube for me. I'm definitely more anal retentive about my dot paintings, even though it's kind of a loosey goosey style. I guess in this case, a Lucy Ducky style. I am still very particular. Okay. I, I think I'm there. I think I'm ready to sign. I'm ready to sign it. I'm ready to sign it. And I am going to sign it in blue. There we go. All right. Now to business. Did anyone have any ideas for what you want me to paint next week? Any suggestions for the white bird painting? I can't guarantee I'll use it, but I am definitely putting out feelers for ideas. Piglet? Okay. Okay. Oh, my sister-in-law would love that. Sunflower? Okay, okay. Maybe I can actually work both of those in there because Piglet really loves flowers. I spell it wrong, but... Tweety. All right. Hey, Courtney, did you have a specific idea? You're okay, I see. That was how why he typed in Piglet. It was for you. Excellent. All right, so we got a vote for Piglet, a vote for Sunflower, and a vote for Tweety. Okay, okay. 
Marvin the Martian. I'm assuming that's what you mean, Marvin the Martian. All right, so you got two votes for Mar. We got two votes for Marvin. We're going. All right. Okay. Okay. Marvin the Martian will be the theme next week. Decided. Thank you guys. All right. I'm sending it the suggestion for Raid off to my hubby since he does this part for me. Do we have any suggestions for that? Anyone? Is there anyone online? We are going to be raiding Seltro, who is also on the push for affiliate. Um, okay. They were kind enough to come follow you while they were midstream. Oh, all right, all right. So let's take this party on over. 